Hi there, welcome to my views and news. How will, how can Ethiopia counter the new alliance which has been formed to corner Ethiopia? What is Ethiopia doing? Which options does Ethiopia have available? Uh, what needs to be done by Ethiopia? Should Ethiopia be alarmed by this alliance? Uh, Somalia, Eritrea, Egypt have every right to cooperate. Ethiopia cannot object to the coordination among these countries. Why should Ethiopia be concerned? We'll have a look at what Ethiopia is doing. We don't we won't look at what Ethiopia should do because that's what that's up to Ethiopia to do what it wants to do. But we'll have a look at what Ethiopia is doing to counter this alliance which has been formed in Asmar. Firstly, because the pictures which we are seeing, uh, which we are getting from Asmara are reminiscent of the pictures which we saw around six years ago. In 2018, uh, PM Abi of Ethiopia, Issa Sevoki, President of Eritrea, and uh, Somalia's President Abdullahi Fermajo signed a tripartite uh, agreement. The three countries are geographically connected to Eritrea shares border with Ethiopia, Ethiopia shares border with uh, Somalia. That was the start of an era of reconciliation and regional economic integration. MOUs were signed, but uh, instead of regional economic integration, we saw regional security integration against TPLA. And war broke out. Uh, war broke out uh, between federal government forces supported by Eritrean military against Tigray fighters. We are seeing the same types of pictures now coming from Asmara. Egypt, Eritrea and Somalia, they have signed, uh, they have reached an agreement. They issued a joint statement yesterday. They are not geographically connected. Their connection is Red Sea or their next and the most important connection is that none of them is on good terms with Ethiopia. Basically, they are collaborating to corner Ethiopia. Some would say they are collaborating to stop Ethiopia because Ethiopia has regional ambitions. How can Ethiopia counter this alliance? How is Ethiopia trying to counter this alliance? Well. If an alliance has been formed against a country, the country can either form a counter-alliance or it can try to break this alliance. There are two ways only to counter-alliance. Either you break it or you try to form a counter-alliance. Can Ethiopia form a counter-alliance? Well, in the region, Ethiopia uh, has not Lots of options available to form a counter alliance. Djibouti is not part of uh, <coughs> official alliance created by Eritrea, Somalia, and Egypt, but Djibouti is on good terms with Somalia. Djibouti is also opposed to Ethiopia, Somali, land, and so no likelihood of Ethiopia forming. A strategic alliance with Djibouti. Sudan is involved in its internal civil war. It cannot be of any help for the Prime Minister of Ethiopia. South Sudan is again very irrelevant, keeping in view the delayed transition there, de delayed elections there. Uh, Selva Kiir just yesterday fired the head of his uh, guards there. Lots of issues of its own. South Sudan is battling with. Kenya, I think, will not like 
to be involved in this conflict by openly supporting Ethiopia against uh, Egypt, uh, Somalia, and Eritrea. So, in the region, there are no options available for Ethiopia. Ethiopia can reach out to the Middle East. Even there, Turkey is Somalia's defense partner. UAE is already on good terms with Ethiopia. So, the only ally which Ethiopia has available is the UAE. If UAE is standing with Ethiopia, Saudi Arabia will hesitate from supporting Ethiopia publicly. Qatar is uh, Turkey's ally. So Ethiopia will have to make big decisions on its own. International community, EU, US, uh, they have been issuing statements uh, calling for respect for Somalia's sovereignty and territorial integrity. It's difficult for Ethiopia to form, uh, to find allies to form a counter alliance, I think. It can only form counter alliance with groups, not with countries. It could form alliance with groups in Somalia, with regional states in Somalia. This is what Ethiopia is doing, by the way. It can arm, it is arming Portland. It is arming Southwest state, will arm groups in Heron. It will back tribal militias, tribal leaders in Somalia. It can back opposition groups in Eritrea. And this is what Ethiopia is doing. The opposition groups held meetings, Eritrean opposition groups held meetings. On Ethiopian so. Brigadier Nehamedo met her twice. Taggy, transitional government of Eritrea, met in Addis Ababa. Red Sea, a far democratic organization, Rasado held meetings in Afar recently. And uh, thirdly, Ethiopia can try to form alliance with countries opposed to Egypt. Or groups opposed to Egypt. Basically, Ethiopia cannot form a broad regional alliance against this alliance formed by Eritrea, Egypt, and Somalia. Second option for Ethiopia is that it should try to break this alliance. Uh, and that can only be done if Ethiopia manages to woo one of these uh, three. Uh, allies. If one decides to improve relations with Ethiopia, the alliance will be broken. Egypt is Ethiopia's arch rival. So, reconciliation with Egypt not likely. Why? Because Egypt wants legally binding agreement about GERD. Ethiopia doesn't want to sign this agreement. No reconciliation possible. Reconciliation with Somalia. Almost not impossible, very difficult because Ethiopia will have to withdraw from the AMU with Somali land to improve ties with Somali. If Ethiopia withdraws from the AMU, then Ethiopian government's narrative about access to sea will just dash the ground. So, reconciliation with Somalia unlikely, though talks are ongoing, two rounds of talks held in. Uh, Turkey, unsuccessful. Third could be in the pipeline. Third option for Ethiopia is that it should somehow try to improve relations with Iran. This is what Ethiopia is working on. Uh, PMRB wants meetings between high-level Eritrean and Ethiopian government officials. Perhaps that is why Gitacho was appointed. Gitacho was asked, uh, he was tasked rather by the government to talk to Eritrean government officials and he met with them in Dubai. Uh, two days ago, 
when Ethiopian foreign minister spokesperson held a press briefing for journalists, one journalist asked a question about uh, cutting off of phone lines between Ethiopia and Eritrea. And the Ethiopian foreign minister spokesperson said that uh, Ethiopia has cordial relations with Eritrea. If there are any issues, issues will be dealt with. But there, there, there is no problem in bilateral relations. The two countries are on good terms. Will Ethiopia say the same about Somalia? No. Will it say the same about Egypt? No. Why just about Eritrea? Ethiopia wants to improve ties with Eritrea. Jula, though, when he spoke in his interview a few three to four days ago, exonerated Eritrean military. He backed Eritrean military's position about uh, being involved in no massacre in Aksum, though he accused Eritrean military of being involved in human rights abuses in other parts of Tigray and Makale. But he rejected TPLF's big claim that Eritrean military committed a massacre in Aksum, though he used the term Shabia uh, soldiers, um, Shabia military in his interview, which he should shouldn't have used, I think. So, PM Abi's government, I believe, wants to improve ties with Eritrea. Eritrea does not trust PM Abi's government. Eritrea supported the Prosperity Party government to crush TPLF. Eritrea's arch rival is TPLF. TPLF could not be crushed. Rather, federal government and TPLF signed Pretoria deal. TPLF uh, resuscitated. It uh, has split into, but it is there. Then, the Prime Minister of Ethiopia raised the issue of access to sea. Any time Ethiopia can directly raise the issue of access to a support. That is why Eritrea is actively involved in the formation of this new alliance. That is why Saas Sevilki hosted Egyptian and Somalia's president because he knows that today Ethiopia wants access to sea through Somaliland. Tomorrow, Ethiopia could claim access to sea uh, through Assam, citing historical background. So, Eritrea is thinking ahead. It wants to stop Ethiopia from claiming other countries' posts, other countries' ports. Eritrea is unlikely to improve its ties with Ethiopia. That is why Eritrea has suspended Ethiopian line flights. It has cut off phone lines. So, Ethiopian options are limited. I believe that Ethiopia will try to improve ties with Eritrea in common ways. But will Eritrea respond positively? That's not very likely. Last point. Ethiopia will have to create internal unity to, to, to fight this challenge. It cannot, uh, it will be difficult for Ethiopia to counter this challenge if it remains internally split. Internal splits are getting deeper. Panos are being treated as criminals, they are called bandits. Ola government, no talks so far. Tegarai uh, facing political turmoil. How can a divided Ethiopia form a policy to counter a regional alliance? This question is very important.
overall we can sum up is that ethiopian options are very limited maybe if you believe it's a bigger country bigger than somalia bigger than eritrea so it can make big decisions it can have its way it should not have underestimated somalia it underestimated somalia and now regional alliance has surfaced let's see how ethiopia tackles this regional move thank you for watching